um, second year PhD student in Intelligence Systems Engineering program in IU. So um, today I will present my um, classwork that I have um, carried out uh, to model intestinal crypt in 3D um, domain using CompuSide 3D. And so I will give a briefly introduction uh, about the biology. Um, I, then I will um, present some previous studies and then I will show my model structure and result and discussion. So, um, so actually intestinal crypt is a, um, is a whole shape um, structure in, in, the, in the small and large intestine. And you can see the, the crypt uh, shapes. It's a, like a um, whole, whole shape structure. And um, there are numerous types of, uh, there are actually some number of um, types of cells that has some different um, duties. And um, so they can, some cells are absorbing the, the nutrition from the environment. And there are some stem cells that are maintaining this structure. And um, there are some uh, basal membranes that are making some homeostasis. And, and um, so loss of like proliferation controlling crypts are leading some colonic, colorectal cancers. So um, the crypts are consist of in um, epithelial cells, and averagely there are two thousand cells in crypt. But when we go for circumference, there are like three uh, uh, twenty three cells. So and when we go through the cell types of the um, intestinal crypt, we can see that like we can say that there are four very important cell types in the uh, intestinal crypt and the the and enterocytes are the absorbing uh, water cells and um, or and also they are absorbing some electrolytes and goblet cells which are some um, specialized cells for secreting some mucus to the environment and there are some panel cells. Also, they are um, secreting uh, antimicrobial um, peptides and WNT. Uh, and one of the most important, like the types of cells is stem cells, which are um, dividing and maintaining the, the cell types and uh, they are differentiating to, to to specific cell types. So, and also I just want to show the, um, show the, 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 the communication between the cells. So there are two, two main or three, we can say that the BMP also, there are three main um, communication method. The first one is the, the Delta notch signaling pathway. And the second one is the WNT pathway that I will explain in detail these two. And the stem cells are uh, prolifer proliferating and differentiating according to these um, signaling, me signaling uh, me mechanisms. So if the, the delta, no if the notch si signal is high the, and the WNT level is high, it's, it stays the, in, the, in the stem cell state. And if the notch level is low, they are actually differentiated to panic cells. And in terms, in terms of the WNT, if the WNT is level less and uh, the notch level is high, they become enterocytes. And the vice versa, they, if, if the WNT and notch signaling mechanism are low, they become a goblet cells. So um, WNT is a um, chemical-based signaling pathway. And uh, it is actually, it's based on the signal transduction by cell surface uh, receptors. And uh, so there is a chemical gradient in the uh, colorectal, colorectal crypt. And uh, actually they, uh, there are some researchers that states that the, the 
pen cells are making that WNT. Therefore, it's a kind of a, um, a decreasing through the through the crypt in, when we go to up, and it regulates the uh, pluripotency. And um, so, I, as I explained, like uh, pen cells are um, one of the supplies, and the, the second one is the mesenchymal cells. And uh, one of the important signaling network is a delta notch signaling uh, net pathway or mechanism. So it's a kind of a cell 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 contact based uh, signaling mechanism, and um, it actually regulates the patterning. And you can see some kind of a mosaic shape in in the um, in the circumfer circumference of the the crypt, and uh, it also regulates the polar potency that that I explained. So uh, actually, you can see the, the uh, two different uh, two different reaction that is regulating the, the delta notch. There are two, two, uh, two chemicals, which are delta and notch. And there is a feedback activation between the, the notch and the notch. Uh, um, notch uh, gene, and there is a lateral inhibition between the delta and notch. Therefore, it's it's making a kind of a um, mosaic shape between uh, in the in the system. But there will be two different states in the, the contact contacting cells. So I will explain some um, previous studies. So actually, the the figure that I have shown you was a um, SPML uh, model of the that delta notch and uh, delta notch signaling pathway, which has uh, actually some SPML in it. And then the the CompuCell is using this SPML to uh, to to visualize the delta and notch levels of the each. Um, cells and as you can see um, so the the neighborhoods the neighbor cells has different delta and notch levels and this one has a high level delta and the other one is the low level delta so um, it was a kind of a like uh, notch signaling pathway and actually they don't have any uh, WNT signaling mechanism in the in terms of the compile um, model and they have only one type of cell, so they they don't provide any uh, more cells. So actually, I started with this model, and also I will I want to show the another uh, great publication, and actually this one has the two different cell cell type mechanisms, but they they have actually some. Um, thresholds in terms of mechanisms and unique mechanisms like they have some thresholds in onto the WNT levels and um, delta notch levels and they have four different um, cell types so I also um, want to show this result so so um, the crypt is actually homo making some um, homeostasis in in here, and if any cell is touching the the top of the crypt, it is actually flushed away, and um, it's important. And also, they have made some analysis in terms of the thresholds. If they make some um, very low WNT threshold, which will make a very high WNT, um, it's they they see it like this. Um, so I just want to remind that. Uh, the red cells are the uh, stem cells, and green cells are the um, the, the penis cells, and blue cells are enterocytes, and the, the yellows are the goblet cells. And um, so, if if they induce the um, very, high, very high WNT through the crypt, they have only uh, pen cells and stem cells. If they don't provide any WNT, um, and you can see they are only enterocytes and um, pen cells, 
when we go through the notch, so if we make very high notch, um, so it, they have only, um, I'm sorry, so they have only stem cells and enterocyte, enterocytes. So in my model, actually, um, we have four different cell types. Sure. Oh yeah, okay. So in, in this one, um, actually we have four different cell types, as I explained, but it includes seven types because it has medium and basal membrane and the tubular uh, shape that I will show you. So um, stem cells can proliferate and um, there is a type of actually, this not that I responding, it's a kind of a, um, another uh, chemical that I will explain in later. So, uh, and they can differentiate, differentiate according to the WNT uh, cell, WNT and not cells. And pen cells can uh, differentiate it in concentration of low concentration of WNT, but high concentration of delta. And goblet cells can be uh, differentiated can be differentiated through the, the WNT and delta levels that I explained in here. And actually, I just want to go to the tube cells. So actually, how we initialize the, this structure. So firstly, um, it's a kind of a, a rectangular prism. And um, if any cell is touching the, the top of the crypt is dying. And also, if any cell don't, don't touch the basal membrane, which is covering the crypt, also dies. And also there's a freezing um, compucell uh, cells, not a cell, they are just a um, compucell cells. They are frozen and they cannot move or they cannot divide. And also there are some medium uh, for the um, initialization. So it's, it's a sh tube shape actually, like intestinal crypt is a tube shape, but we are starting as a rectangular prism and we are um, pruning some cells according to that, that rule that I explained. And you will see in the demo actually. And um, so as, there are two different um, me mechanisms that I explained and WNT chemical gradients, the, we are giving WNT as a fixed chemical gradient and um, it's starting like high and zero at the top. And um, delta notch signaling mechanism is based on the SPML. And um, this uh, SPML is sold by the SPML solver in the Compucell 3D, uh, actually like Lib SPML, LibRunner SPML and uh, LibRoadRunner and then turn back to the Compucell 3D. And um, growth is based on a cleaved um, notch receptor intracellular domain. This is actually kind of a um, flag chemical in terms of how many cleavage we have in the, in the time. So if, if, if it is high, we are saying that it's actually growth and it is actually accumulating accord, according to time. And then um, it's grow, it's actually like accumulating by time. And there are some thresholds in terms of uh, to, div, to grow and to proliferate also um, the, the stem cells can only proliferate. And while they are proliferating, they are differentiating also in, in terms of the, um, the signaling mechanism levels. And um, yeah, that's all. And the, the stem cells are also uses this um, cell states. For the results, actually before the results, I just want to copy and paste the, the, the ODEs. The ODE is like this and um, there are some notch mRNA and notch and there are some um, delta RNA and a great uh, directly delta. And this is the R that I explain. It's a cleavage um, receptor uh, for the notch and it's accumulating by time and it's um, actually like de degrading over time. Some very constant levels, some constant rates. So in the beginning, here, it will make some stochasticity.
the only four types of um, cells are growing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's... Hmm. So actually the, the um, cells are covered by the basal membrane, which is eliminating, but yeah, they, they should go up and flush the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they, they actually like the tube cells are um, making some constraint in the in the crypt. Basal membrane is covering the crypt, and the, the also basal membrane on, on the below. But there is not nothing in the top, so they will go up. Yes, and if they touch they die. So in, in, as an initial conditions, the all cells are stem cells and um, they are covered with basal membrane and tube cells in the middle. And WNT is a fixed um, chemical gradient, as you can see. And we are um, selecting some um, WNT thresholds for the, for the differentiation. So actually when you um, simulate after some, uh, some time, some multi, uh, Monte Carlo steps, actually I, I able to see the different, see, see the, the, the results that I have um, shown and I reproduce similar um, uh, results. And um, actually I will show the code and maybe you will understand better. So, so also I look for the delta levels and these cells have higher level delta levels. And um, I just want to remind that the WNT threshold is um, around 60s. And then I, I think 100, but I'm just subtracting the WNT and we are seeing the that line as a 60s. And this was the, the publication result for the, um, the experimental publication results. So also when we look for the, um, the, the results, so in the beginning, there are lots of number of cells, cell, the cells that are dying because of the structure, um, structure development. And after structure development, they are dying in a, um, some, periodic time because they are touching the, the, the top and they are eliminating. And after um, 800 Monte Carlo steps, they became, they became our, like the proliferating and differentiating, of course, the stem cells. And only stem cells can divide, by the way. I, I just want to um, recall that one. So also uh, I made the same, um, same analysis for our um, crypt, and I play with some WNT and notch um, thresholds, and I able to see the um, the same results. So I guess I I can go to the the code and show how how it's developing. So um, actually this one is an older version. So um, it it's has some different syntax in terms of um, some headers uh, of functions and also other ways to, um, to, to, to get and set the SPML. So uh, actually I started with some simulations and the dimensions are, are um, 70, 1, 160, and 70, which has a rectangular prism, and it has high number of steps. And um, I just want to sh 
show the seven types of um, cell steps, cell types, but we have only four types in a biological manner. So um, in between the, the living cells, there are five um, contact energy between them. And as a diffusion field, it's actually, um, there is no diffusion or decay, and it is the initial concentration which, it, which makes the, the, the constant chemical gradient. For the, for the stem cells, actually there is a uniform initialization that I explained, and it's a kind of a rectangular prism. And um, these are the steppables that I am using for instance, it's a Dalton Hodge steppables, and there are some growth and mitosis and extra, extra fields and plotting um, steppables. And when we go to the steppable um, Python file, and there are some double thresholds that you can see. And while we are waiting, maybe I can just simulate once and to see the to, to see so it is initialized like this the, the rectangular prism and it is um, showing in 15 Monte Carlo steps it is showing it's plotting the each results in 15 Monte Carlo steps so yeah we got the tubular shape over here. And to develop delta notch signaling mechanism, actually we need to wait a little bit to, to, make, uh, to, to make the, the ordinary differential equations. And when we go to the, um, the steppables, this is the initial condition and um, we are eliminating some tubes according to some four loops. And we are assigning some um, outer cells over here as a basal membrane, which is the, the second um, identifier for the cell, cell list cell type list. And um, after all, like there are some cells to die and we are making a cell list of it. And according to um, threshold, kill threshold for the R, and also they are dying according to that uh, R, R chemical that is the um, cleaved notch receptor. And in the, in the growth um, steppable, um, so we are looking for the um, R levels, as I explained. And as like, this is the, um, growth function, by the way, um, if like it is looking for the cell types and if it is a living biological cells, it is growing. And um, it is looking for the uh, SPML states and SPML states in the um, R, R, which is the, the R chemical, it, it is giving the target volume as a random uniform, which is like they are growing their target volume in here. And if they are touching the um, Y dimension, in which I top off the crypt, they are appended to the SAS to die, as you can see. And in here, um, also it is clearing the, the cells. 
In the Delta Notch steppable, which is the SPMS steppable, you can see firstly um, we are defining some um, options in here and some model names, which is the SPML is in here. And um, there are some um, there are some options in here which makes it um, reasonable steps of some simulations and then um, it's the initial initialization part for the each um, chemical right now actually we have three chemicals B is not used So um, should I explain in detail the delta notch or I guess it um, and they will explain, right? Okay, so this is a kind of complicated model. It's not the one that we'll be using uh, in the class, but now even before that, you have to explain first uh, this. Right, so, well, uh, cells have lots of signaling pathways. They have the wind signaling pathway, the FGF signaling pathway, uh, the PCP signaling pathway is also a different kind of wind. And you have also, well, TASIAP signaling pathways is usually uh, related to mechanical transduction and Okay, I cannot draw. And, but one of them is the delta notch pathway, which is signaling that uh, cells communicate to each other. So delta notch pathway is a direct cell to cell communication. So the cells have to be touching each other to, for this to happen. And you usually have a, uh, a delta signaling protein, transmembrane protein, and a notch signaling protein, which has a membrane and trans transmembrane, uh, extra membrane domain and an internal membrane domain. And when delta touches notch from different cells, it actually cleaves this notch protein, and this cleaved notch will get into the uh, nucleus of the cell and can activate lots of cascades. And one of the things that this uh, notch, once it gets to the nucleus, it can actually reproduce more notch inside the cell, and at the same time, uh, once the, notch, the cleavage notch gets to the nucleus, it can also repress the production of delta in the cell that receives the signal. So because you have this kind of positive feedback of the cell that receives the notch and the negative step between the cell that receives the notch into the delta, what happens that once cells start communicating, uh, you usually have a situation where some cells will become rich in delta because they do not receive the delta uh, from the other cells. And at the same time, the other cell becomes rich in notch because it's receiving lots of communication. So you have some of this asymmetry in that behavior because of this uh, negative feedback between these two states. So the cells, when you place them in a region, they usually become pattern with some cells will be high in notch and some cells become uh, high in delta and vice versa. Okay. So this delta notch mechanism uh, under certain conditions can be used as a patterning mechanism to get a more or less of a checkerboard pattern we have usually. Now this is where I make one cell that's very high in delta and all the cells around to be very uh, high in uh, notch. So you usually have uh, activated cell surrounded by inactive cell of the other type. So you can get this kind of patterns where you have which looks like uh, how the soccer football used to look like. We have a, a, a dark spot with a dark hexagonal and all the white, uh, no, a dark pentagon with the white hexagonals around. So that pattern of the old football soccer balls is it's not inspired by the delta notch pattern, but it's the resembles, it looks very much like. Of course, this is only cell to cell, local cell, cell behavior, so that's usually the signal, uh, the kind of pattern that you get. 
you may have different patterns if you have different kind of boundary conditions or if the cells have different shapes and can all can extend filipoda and actually communicate via the autonomic pattern to the cells that are further away. That's something that can happen. But this is usually a way to pattern the system. And which, you, which gives you more or less like checkerboard-like pattern. And if you look at the intestinal script of the cells, you have the pine cells and the uh, sting cells right at the bottom. And if you have a picture of that, uh, no, not this one, the real one. Okay, it, it kind of looks like this, that you have some kind of checkerboard patterning and with the sting cells surrounded by PANF cells. And it turns out that if you look at the delta notch concentrations of the cells, they do have high on one, one cell type and low on the other cell type. And that's indeed a delta notch pattern here. So if you want to reproduce the dynamics of sting cells versus point of cells dynamically in time, you want to have a delta notch pattern on this one. You want to also model this delta notch pattern between the cells, have the communication and set the, the subcellular part of the of the cells, their communication to set up which cell types you actually have. So you have the delta notch pattern setting up in his simulations the type of cells you have, okay? Of course, as the cells kind of uh, move around and change neighbors, maybe, a, a delta, uh, I don't know if that's true in the simulations, but maybe a steam cell become a PANF cell I don't know how, I don't know if you, if you change any kind of addition values between those cells, because I suggest that to K1 Chen when he was writing the paper, but he never implemented. Uh, because it looks like the, some, you have some difference in addition between those cells. But maybe that's not really important. But that's more like uh, how we, the dot notch pattern works by this positive feedback on internal notch and negative feedback on high notch learning delta and you get this kind of patterns. Now, the model that we will be playing with is a very simple model with just two variables, but the one that you're using here is a different kind of model which is much more complicated where, not this one, the, yeah, yeah, you're basically signaling you're not only modeling not in delta at the membrane, you're also modeling its production by modeling this, the amount of mRNA that produces delta and notch and also the cleavage rate that you have in the notch. So, uh, so I'm not familiar with this model, but you have a base level of notch production, mRNA production, uh, plus another production that is modulated by the amount of notch that you have or and a decay rate. And then the notch protein is a direct read from the notch mRNA minus a decay rate, minus a rate of cleavage. I guess this is right. No, no, no. That's a cleavage rate. And the delta also be a basal rate of production decay. Everything will have a decay rate. And well, yeah, basically this is just a very complicated, uh, not very complicated, just three equations, five equations, but we model the production of the delta notch in a more detailed way than the one that we actually use for the comp cells workshops. Uh, I don't know if that was clear, if you have any questions. You just want to see the results, right? Okay. So, um, in the SPMS steppable, which is the delta notch steppable, we are looking for the um, these um, cell states, and we are storing these um, re the the values in the cell dictionaries, as you can see. And um, D is the delta, and N is the notch, and R is the uh, the cleaved um, notch. And so, in each step, in each uh, 
SPMS step, we are um, sending the, the values and it is stepping the SPML one times and then um, we are storing the, the values in here again. And, and the differentiation is occurring in here. Uh, so I have waited for uh, some number, certain of num some certain number of times to to stabilize the the delta notch um, seeing mechanism, and after that, um, the they are um, differentiated to the other cells, and um, these are the other cells, and this is the uh, I guess yeah, this is the pennant cell and. This is the, the goblet and this is the enterocyte. So in the mitosis, um, it's the only, um, it's only um, stem cells are dividing. The, the first one is, the, the first cell type is the, um, the, the stem cells. And the extra fields is the to, 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 to to plot and um, so yeah we can go to the the simulation results and um, as you can see like we are in the 500 it's near to the 600 Monte Carlo steps we don't see any dividing cells but we can see the delta notch um, signaling mechanism occurred and then um, WNT is a chemical gradient, which is fixed. And we, we see the, the differentiation is occurring and we have the, the four different types of um, cells in the crypt. Okay, and yeah, sure. Okay, so I've managed, I translated this to CompuCell4. You can find it on the student uh, Google Drive under example colonic crypt. The only thing is that yours won't have the plots. I didn't have time yet to translate those into CompuCell4, but the plots and the extra field. And I guess I have sent to to uh, I ha I have sent to you, which is um, for high WNT um, thresholds, and we will play with this one today. So um, right now, actually, we will change the WNT thresholds, and so we can make WNT thresholds as like ten, maybe. Okay, we got the um, the 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 crypt shape after the initialization. And then I just want to look for the SPML steps because it was two hundred. Okay, two hundred. Okay, okay. I just want to be sure that. So right now, actually, we are not seeing the, the basal membrane, medium, and the um, tube cells, which are in the, in the middle of the crypt. On the player, the, how to not showing? Okay. So um, in the preferences, um, you can just go to preferences and there are some tables. This, this is the tables of cell types. And I just don't want to see the medium, basal membrane, and the, the tubular shapes, tubular cells, and tube cells. And then you just need to go to the 3D section. And there are some um, options like you can just display and so on. And the important thing for the invisible cell, ty cell types, which are in here, and just um, you need to write down the, 
the type of the cells in in term in in the in the num numeric um, in in the in the order. So this is like the second, and this is the third, and I I just um, in, make invisible cells. So I think my computer is kind of a slow in here, but we will see. And also you can um, change the, the color of the cells. For instance, um, I just want to pause because when you change some preferences, you need to pause first. Sometimes it's crashing. It used to crash, I don't know, right now it's sold. So then uh, for the stem cells, you can, uh, my stem cells was red and pen cells, was green and goblet cells were um, yellow and the enterocytes were blue. Yeah, okay. I have changed the color of the cell in, in, based on the cell types. And then we can go on. I don't know, do you have any simulation results or have any problems? So in the um, simulation, actually, I, will ch I, I have changed the WNT threshold to 10. Um, so this one was a hundred and then we will see what's happening. And I'm just um, stopping the, the older, older one because also we are seeing some dividing cells. And as you can see, it's um, still shape. It partly stores the, the, the mesoid, uh, the like a, um, some mesoic, um, some mesoic shapes. So um, after like 200 Monte Carlo time, time steps, um, I could be see the, the mosaic shape with only stem cells and the panet cells. And actually with this um, approach, I can say that like, um, we, um, we reproduce the same effect and we, we can see the same mosaic shapes um, that has only two types of cells uh, with a different publication. And it's a kind of a um, good exercise to, to see the, um, the, the capabilities of the CompuCell also is, uh, has the um, reproduce the same results with ad, another approach. And um, it was a uh, um, good to see actually. And um, so, yeah, I, I think that was all. And you can play with your uh, version. I guess the, 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 the neighbor version has, has some kind of deficiency because um, I cannot see any goblet cells in the in the upper crypt um, maybe we can uh, make an updated version and re-upload again and uh, but we, we could be able to see the two different pendant cells and stem cells on, and, and the bill of the, the crypt so um, thank you so much for your listening and